creation seems to be always pointing towards the Creator. Uh, even in the wind and the waves, like, we can hear uh, the sounds, the echoes of the Creator in all of this. It's beautiful. Had the chance to go out and do some, a bit of fishing and um, didn't catch anything but uh, feeling a really nice sense of relaxation and uh, peace right now and we're just about to head for some supper. So we were just sitting in the teepee talking with um, some of the leaders of the camp here and um, hearing some interesting oral stories about this area and uh, some of the traditions and knowledge that um, has existed here for thousands and thousands of years. Um, and as you can see, it's a uh, beautiful night here out on the lake. So we just finished up um, a little nature walk where we got to look at some different plants and pick some sweet grass and um, it was really good to be out on the land and um, really reflect on the importance of places and um, our connections to them through memories and, and the smells and the sounds of nature. Um, I really appreciated thinking about how we need to care for the land that the that God gave us um, and so making sure that we are good stewards of the creation that was given to us is uh, something that I'll take away from that experience. So I thought I'd do my uh, reflection for today from uh, out in the canoe here. And uh, it was a really good day. I, Like I said this morning, I really appreciated being able to be out in the field and um, looking at some traditional plants and uh, learning how to um, take care of the land and keep it, um, keep it right. 
and uh, this afternoon I spent some time uh, just reflecting on my own faith journey and uh, where God has taken me over the years. Gorgeous night out here on the lake. Um, no fish yet, but it's been nice and relaxing. The moon is out. There's been some pelicans flying over. And uh, I think the main thing that I took away from today was just the, um, the importance of patience, uh, especially with the beadwork and also with the picking of the sweet grass. Um, it just was a, a good task to clear your mind and focus on, uh, focus on what you need to be doing. Um, yeah, so be heading in here pretty soon. Maybe we'll get some fish tomorrow. Oh, here come the pelicans here. So I'm down here um, by the lake again and it's uh, Thursday. Um, it's been a really eventful day so far and we've had some time to get out <clears throat> into nature and do some, um, some picking of plants and we looked at um, where they uh, sort of uh, keep the medicines and uh, what some of them are used for. So Danny's been really good at sharing um, some of the native um, knowledge here around um, Sturgeon Lake and uh, I guess it w I was just struck by the importance of um, knowing uh, the land where you come from and the place-based um, importance that we uh, we've been talking about in class recently and uh, one of the things I'll take away especially from today was um, just the idea that uh, God has given us so many different um, medicines to use uh, here on this earth and that we need to take care of them um, and use them properly so yeah uh, should be a good last day tomorrow we're gonna have the feast and the giveaway and um, it's gonna be sad to say goodbye <laughs> So final day, we just wrapped up our uh, little sharing session uh, with everybody and it was really neat to hear some of the gifts that were given away as well as the, um, the sentiment and the relationship that was built over this time. Uh, I'm feeling very grateful right now for having had this experience and uh, I've learned a lot about um, Indigenous ways of knowing and um, res respect for the land. Uh, relationship building the importance of community and uh, I'm gonna take a lot of these lessons back with me to the classroom uh, for the coming year uh, I've really had some good connections with the people here and I think that's one of the things I'll miss the most about the camp um, and uh, I'm really looking forward to hopefully planning and implementing something like this with my uh, outdoor ed club or my uh, wellness club uh, back at my school I'm looking forward to having the feast together now and celebrating before we head home and missing my family lots so I'm looking forward to see them seeing them again and um, giving all my little kiddos a big hug and uh, yeah so signing off from Sturgeon Lake. Uh -huh.